Hello and welcome back to Notts County Youth Edition Career Mode on FIFA 16. We're currently sitting second and what a blistering episode it was in the last one. Uh, if you haven't gone and watched that one, make sure you go and check it out. Absolute cracking episode. Thanks very much to the Premier Rat for the guest commentary. And let's get into this episode with three more games. Right, first game of the episode here sees us taking on Swindon Town at home. Uh, the rain is coming down. Now, you may notice that I have a bit of a uh, handlebar moustache going on here. It is Movember. Uh, it is a great cause supporting men's cancer. Uh, usually, you fucking clear the face and grow a moustache over November. It's called Movember uh, as we support men's cancer. It's a great cause. Get behind it. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, go and check out some websites and get amongst it. Anyway, let's get into this game here against Swindon in the rain. We'll want three points. We're sitting in second. Uh, we're sending out the reserves team, giving everyone a bit of a run, freshen up. Uh, Twazik, the star of the show in the last episode, is starting up front. And the only other familiar face there will be Mezu between the sticks. He gets the captain's armband. We're the best defensive team in the league. And let's see if we can keep that going for us. Twazik's fed it down to Dogo Lamptey. He fires it through the middle. Oh, what a ball. And he's found Twazik. Oh, and he's hit the fucking bar. Unlucky. What a ball from Dogo Lamptey to find Twazik. And unfortunately, we couldn't finish. Oh, Chappie's just stripped him. It's Chapman. It's Chapman moving his way. Oh, it's Chapman into the box. Oh, he's worked the keeper, but straight at him. And it's going to be a corner for Notts County. What a run. Blistering pace there from Chapman. Got the shot off, but straight at the keepers. Hit him clean in the dick. And it's going to be a corner for Notts County. And Chappie to deliver it in. Here we go. Too close to the keeper. Here comes Swindon through Robert. Gordyashenko not there for the cross. Yaboa cleans it out. Chappie's there. Tries to get a touch off. Picked off by Dicker. Here's Rogers. Feeds it out to Robert. Inside. And Mezu sees it. And Civic do. Sees an opening. Pots it out in front. Christian Bamba getting a play on the left side. Oh, he's got through about six of them. Oh, my God, Bamba. Finish it, mate. You did all the hard work, but it has taken a deflection. So it is a corner. Dogo Lamptey drops it in. Civic. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. And it's come out. And it's fallen to Yaboa. He's dropped it off to Warland. Warland's got some pretty acute foot skills. It's Warland. He tries to take the shot. Belford, Civic gets a header. It's all fucking kamikaze action here in the box at the moment. And Holland's going to come away with it. And he clears it out to Robert. Feeds it out to Wallen. Across to Civic. Here's Pindo, the centre back. Oh, and he's just missed out. It's getting a rare opportunity to run out with the first team's Pindo. And well, fucking couldn't hit the side of a barn door there by the looks of things. Bushlick. Here we go. Screams through the middle. Oh, Oh, unimpured, taken down in the box. No free kick from the referee. And play on. Well, that was a bit of a shambles there. Call from the ref. And Swindon Town are happy just to hold it in their back half. And the, here they go. They've actually pumped one forward. Story gets the header down to Robert. They haven't attacked for the last 20 minutes. So Swindon have pretty much played for the draw for the last half an hour. But Bamba's come flying through. Can he fucking create something? Christian Bamba. It's taken out by Wood, and that should be the end of play. Rogers is going to clear it out, and it's going to be a throw in. We might have one more attacking chance. Here's your boa, feeds it in. Mel's can we create something here in the last fucking overtime minute? Mel's is going for a run around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, and it's a poor shot. And too soft for the keeper. And that's it. We come away with a nil all draw. Well, not a lot of opportunity there. We did attack hard there in the second half. Swindon Town pretty much happy to sit back on their own fucking lulls and hold on to the ball. And it ends up being a nil all draw. So we had the nine shots. Swindon only had one. And it was a pretty boring game all round. Bubakar Yaboa with a 7.3. All right, second game of the episode. Dagenham and Redbridge away from home. A nice sunny day by the looks of things. And we've got the full strength team out on the park. Now, I can tell you the FA Cup fixtures have been released. But I won't let you know who is going to be playing us until the end of the episode. All right. After a draw, let's see what we can do here against Dagenham with the full strength team. Lucas feeds it inside. Here's Jonas Kittle. Fakes his man out. Join us, Kittle. Oh, and a great save from the keeper. And it's going to be a corner for Notts County. Passes it off. Ebanks Landel. Skips around one. Skips around two. He's into the box. 
Evax Lando, oh, what a save from the keeper. And we are tearing, dagging them apart through the middle of the ground, getting these shots off, but the keeper is keeping them in the game. That's a great save. Oh, here's Jonas Kittle. Has he got pace? Cuts back. Oh, taken down. Referee, sort him out. That is filthy. That is fucking filthy. And he only gets a fucking yellow. That is dirt. Absolute dirt. Jordan Tilson, fucking take a good hard look at yourself, mate. That is fucking disgusting. We've got a free kick 38 yards out. It's going to be Tom Dara to whip one in. What can he do here? Has a red hot crack and a little bit wide. Oh, Kittle's done well. Feeds it forward. Ebanks Landel on a run. Oh, taken out from behind again by Dick Amona, and apparently it was all ball. What a load of dick cheese that was. Here comes Dagenham, feeds it inside, shot, Dell, and Kooten gets a head onto it. Who's going to get there? Mezu. Puts his little greasy hands on it. He fires it out, was looking for Kittle. And they're going to come back and onslaught us again. Dagenham holding possession for pretty much since half time. Oh, Tom Dari just strips him. Fires it off, it's Jonas Kittle. And he's got a runner. It's Ebanks Landel with an acre of space. Can we finish one? Ebanks Landel puts it in. It's 1 0 to Notts County in the 80th minute. And finally, we get one past the keeper. Well, counter attack football at its finest there from Notts County. Tom Dari just stripping the man in the midfield. Flies it off to Kittle. And Ebanks Landel just comes streaming through and has the tenacity to finish it on the left hand side with a lovely finesse shot. Well, finally, we get past O'Brien. And it's a 1-0 lead to Notts County. Get in, lad. There's Mels. Down the line. It's Lucas who's made the run for him. Sammy Lucas fires it forward. It's fucking Nyako. It takes a deflection and O'Brien with a great save. It's going to be a corner for Notts County. And they're pushing players forward, trying for the equaliser, allowing us to counter-attack. And we've got a corner now. And it's going to be Poodle to deliver it in. He brings it in. It's well wide. Kooten gets a touch on it. Lamptey has absolutely fucking shat his pants and knocked it over the top. Twardzik just trying to push his way forward. It's Twardzik holding off the defender. It's Twardzik. Oh, and he's worked the key pass straight at him. And it's into injury time, and they've cleared that one out. And it's going to be a throw in for Knotts County. Sadami plays on quickly. Here's Mel's. Feeds it across, and that's it. Three points again for Notts County. Just what we wanted. We can't afford to drop any games in fucking chase of Luton Town. And three points, and fucking Cooten, the general, he is happy. And we'll take three points comfortably there in the end. So, 12 shots to three. They didn't even get one on target. EB has an 8.2, and we thoroughly deserved that victory. All right, U-Squad monthly report. Let's see if there's anyone worth bringing into the first team. Kiaga is a 76 to 94, 54 overall. Nilsson is 78 to 94, 42 overall. Jackson is an 81 to 87, 55 overall. Mayoyo is a 54, 76 to 94 overall. Dele is uh, going to not make the cut. See you later. Uh, Josipovic, 73 to 89, 50 overall. Joseph Boussier is an 86. Well, see you later, mate. Islemovic is an 87. He's 57 overall, so he could be handy. Uh, we'd at least be able to sell him. Let's offer him a contract. Adam is a 52 overall, 81 to 87. Musa Bua is an 81 to 91, 46 overall. The Wiki Berger is a 79 to 87, 57 overall at 15 years of age. Prince O'Doom is a 49 overall, 71 to 83. And the great name, unfortunately, his potential is still dropping. Pavlovic is a 78 to 92, 54 overall. And Shola Danqua, 52, 73 to 87 overall. So a lot of left backs there. We'll probably have to get rid of a few and hope that we get some more midfielders. And we need, really need some more strikers, to be fair. Right, third game of the episode. We're at home back in Meadow Lane, taking on Oxford United. And it's fucking raining again. The lights are on. And let's hope somebody's home as we try and pick up another three points as we continue on with these league games. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, a few small changes, just trying to keep everyone fresh for when the FA Cup game comes through. Twizik's getting a start up front. Mel's on the right-hand side and Yeboah uh, and Civic in the midfield. Let's hope that we can take down Oxford United. They're not too far behind us on the table, uh, so it should be a tough game. And Civic busting a move through the middle. 
He's got Ebanks Landel. Turns his man inside out. Ebanks Landel shoots and a great save from Garrett. And we're going to get an early corner opportunity here. Dari feeds it off. Here's Twardzik. He's got runners out wide. Mel's. Sees the run, it's Sammy Lucas, it's Sammy Lucas, it's Sammy Lucas! And Garrett makes a great save. And another corner for Notts County. Well, we're finding a little bit of space out on the wings, but uh, unable to beat the keeper at this stage. Here goes Cooten. Feeds it off to Tom Dari. Can he whip it in? No, picked off by Circum. Who's there? Lucas gets the header, drops down to Ebanks. Landall, he takes the shot, and it's off target. And at halftime, once again, it's nil all. We've had a couple of opportunities, but nothing to write home about. And in the rain, we hold on to a nil all draw at halftime. It seems to be the way things are going for this episode. Oxford on a push, feeds it inside, and bang, straight in, and straight after half time. Well, fuck me, what have they been snorting in the change rooms at half time? That was their first shot on goal, straight off the kick at half time. And they just fed their way through, thought their way through, and got into the box. Some poor marking from Dell, and Mezu was still half asleep. I think he was just finishing off the piece of toast he had at half time. And well, fuck me, we're 1 0 down to Oxford United. Here comes Oxford United again through McDonald. And no one willing to take the ball on. It falls to Civic. He punches it out to Bubakar Yaboa. And it's Tom Dari who's been very quiet of late. Can he sort something out here? Skips around. Does well Tom Dari. Feeds it inside. Sammy Lucas. He's looking for a runner. There's no one there. But he's got Twardzik down the line. It's Twardzik. He's in a good area. Can he fight his way into the box? It's Twardzik. Oh, Garrett with another good save. And we're just unable to score at the moment. It's going to be a throw in for Notts County. There's Civic making a run through the middle. He's got assistance from Ebanks Landel. It's Ebanks Landel. Turns his man inside out. He's done very well. Ebanks Landel. Oh, ref. Fucking tried to take the shot. The ball wasn't even under his foot. Come on, lads. Get in there and attack. Yes, Mels. Oh, referee. Tom Dari from 27 yards out. What can we do here? Has a red hot crack. It's hit the wall. Dell gets a touch. Feeds it off to Kooten. It takes a fucking deflection. And Barrett comes away. And they just boot it out. And well, Oxford just holding on for dear life here at the moment. We are pushing hard. We want that equalizing goal. Yeboah feeds it off to Sadami. Here's Sadami making a run out wide. Can we get the cross in? Here comes Sadami. Chucks it on the boot. It's straight to their defender. Here's Lucas, pushing through the middle. We need something. We need someone to stand up. No, no one wants the ball. Everyone's sitting off like a fucking rabid duck. Come on, lads. You're on. Oh, fuck me. And we lose to Oxford United 1-0. A piss-poor performance from the top team in Notts County. And, well, if that's the form that we're going to put together going forward, well, we may as well just fucking give up now. No one wanted the ball. No one wanted to take their opportunities. And we lose 1-0 to Oxford United. So we had 10 shots, 7 on target. They had fucking 1. And they scored with it. <sighs> Pisses me off. Sadami with a 7.3. Alright, monthly scouting update from Sweden. We've got a 75, uh, a 76, an 82, an 82, an 87, an 84. And a 91 will keep scouting. But pretty much fuck all from Sweden. All right, let's do a squad report. Ebenezer Mezu is a 72, gone up one. Jordan McKay-Stevens, a 58, gone up six. Ibrahim Dele is a 66, gone up two. Daniel Kooten is a 74, gone up five. Kofi Sardami is a 70, gone up one. Nayako is a 69, gone up two. Poodles is a 69, gone up three. Lucas is a 71, gone up three. Tom Dari is a 74, gone up three. Ebanks Landles is a 74, gone up four. Jonas Kittles is a 72, gone up four. Elvez Coelho is a 63, gone up 3. Christian Bamba is a 69, gone up 4. Twardzik's a 59, gone up 5. Dogo Lamptey's a 62, gone up 2. Marcel Civic is 64, he's gone up 4. 
James Mills is a 64, gone up three. Jay Chapman's a 60, gone up one. Graham Burke, we don't give a fuck about. Nor him, nor him, nor him, nor him. And Garrow's a 61, gone up two. Gordyashenko's a 62, gone up three. Pindo's a 63, gone up one. Bubakar Yaboa is a 58. Cameron Wallen's a 56, gone up four. Owusu's a 46, gone up three. Amadako's a 54, gone up one. Islamovic, we've just signed. He is a 57. Uh, Hoyland's a 57, gone up three. Abbas a 54, gone up four. Bushalik's a 59, gone up two. Sergio Moreno, we've just signed from the Youth Academy, is a 52 overall. Uh, we don't care about him, 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 him. Uh, Adam Mensa out on loan is a 59, gone up 5. Adu's a 52, gone up 4. Zakari's a 63, he's gone up 5. Agamang's a 61 now, gone up 4. Nayako is a 57, gone up 4. Agbala a 55, gone up 3. And Prince Aware is a 63, gone up 3. So, here you go, you finally get to find out who we're playing in the semi-final, and it's fucking Arsenal. Uh, if we can knock them off, that's absolutely ridiculous. I can't see it happening with the form that we've had in the last couple of games. But let's hope that the lads have been holding something back to try and take on the Gunners at Wembley. On the opposite side of the table, you've got Chelsea and QPR. So if we can get through to the final, uh, it'll be absolutely crazy scenes down in Nottingham uh, as we take on the winner of Chelsea and QPR. But we've got to get past the Gunners first. That'll be up first game of the next episode so make sure you stick around for that one. So if we have a look at the table, we've dropped back another few points there with those fucking draws. And the loss to Oxford United, well, they're in third now, just sniffing at our heels. If we'd won that one, we would have been, uh, we still would have been second. We're missing out on the goal difference. We just weren't able to score properly in this episode, unfortunately. Uh, so not a lot of games left, maybe six or seven. And we'll have to see if we can hunt down Luton Town. Thanks very much for tuning in. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.